Slay, where we paint the monsters that you like to kill in the game. I'm Lauren. I am learning from the master who is V, who is right below me. Get me. And today we are continuing. We are finishing. We are both continuing We're and finishing. Finishing. Yep. Our hook horror. Ah. Ah. I can make that uh, sound. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I am doing the announcements today because V is going to be doing a lot of talking over the next two hours as she instructs me on how to paint these creatures. And, you know, so I'm giving her voice a little bit of a break. Plus, I have announcements because we always have announcements. First off, thank you to Martin, who is our wonderful mod and director. I'm going to just upgrade the moderators to directors. Why not? I like that. You are the director of the chat. If you have any questions for us, either about painting or idle champions, or about top hats, you can go ahead and put those in the chat with big question in capital letters before that so that Martin can grab it and put it into a little document we have backstage because often I am too busy painting to look at the chat and I don't wanna miss your questions. Mm -hmm. Also, um, if you hadn't seen, I think the, uh, the stuff is live for this weekend. So it is a, it's another free time gate weekend we were in that weird portion and where the we shuffle. had two events in a yeah. row and then we have two, yeah. Uh, so this is our second free time gate weekend plus the weekend buffs should be live. So all of that has gone live. Please enjoy. Uh, you are more than welcome to ask in chat, hey, these are my three uh, champions. Who should, who do you suggest I pick from? And I'm sure chat will have more than enough room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> recommendations. <laughs> I usually have some recommendations. It's always Orkira. And, you know, V might have some recommendations too. Yeah. Um, if you want to paint along with us, we always put the information for our painting into our Discord. Grab your drinks. Discord.gg slash Idle Champions. Hmm. I'm so glad that I got V drinking along with me now. It has become a... Well, um... my hands are free. <laughs> <laughs> it's just become an entire Twitch-wide thing I where it. I talk about the Discord and we drink. But mm -hmm. if you come to our Discord, we have a paint and slay channel where you can not only post your mini painting, but you can get all of the information on the minis that we are painting and have painted. I got them all pinned in there. So if you go back to YouTube and watch older ones, you can. Um, and do we want to just announce next week now or tell people to wait a little bit? Do we want to tease? I think we've already teased. Oh, wait. No, we'll, we'll wait for our announcement. Yeah, for our announcement. Okay. I thought you were talking about yesterday's announcement because we had that too, that, you know, the fun little thing that Masood shared with everyone yesterday. Oh, about Gosric. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I was so excited. Um, so all of you who are asking this week, hey, there's supposed to be a champion spotlight on Friday, but it's April Fool's. What are you doing? And I was like, just keep an eye on our socials. Yes, we did it yesterday for that exact reason <laughs> because Masood was going to announce Gosric Nomad. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited for Gosric. Next week with Greengrass. Yes. I'm not only excited because Rivals of Waterdeep is awesome, um, Gosric is coming during Greengrass, which is when you can also get Arkira. So I Yay! am so happy to have uh, a Rivals buddy with me during Greengrass. That starts next week on mm -hmm. Wednesday is that event. You can join us and unlock Gazric and have more Rivals of Waterdeep in your game. Thank you, the wait. All right. And I love this Archdruid Gazric. Are you kidding me with the, the snow on the cap and everything? Oh, yeah. uh, I squeed when I saw the art being pulled together. It's so good. It's yes. so good. But it anyway. That yeah, anyhow. I think is all of the yeah. announcements. So I will turn it back over to you, V. Yay. So last week was all about the getting the hook horror started. We did a wash first in a black wash. I used Nuln Oil from Citadel. Lauren actually mixed together a black paint with some water and thinned it out. So it was a nice broth consistency. Works out quite well. Mm -hmm. And then we went in and we did our base colors. Now we did some mixing for the purple, but we also just used straight up leather brown on the, well, the hooks and the feet and the beak area. <laughs> and then we just did some black and uh, dead white mixed together 
to create a darker mid-tone gray. And that's pretty much where we got last week. Um, again, the reason why we started with a black wash is because as you can see here, there are all these nooks and crannies that go into this sculpt for this particular miniature. Here on the back, we've already talked about this dude works out. So it yes, helps fill in the, you know, help fill in the space here and in the back area that it's kind of happening right here. Um, so many abs. It's so many abs. So this kind of acts as an insurance policy when you're going to paint a very detailed miniature because when you do a wash first, it goes into the recesses, it fills those in. So if for some reason your paint hiccups, you're not looking at a glaring, <laughs> right? A glaring white spot, you're seeing more of what will act as a shadow instead. So just a nice little trick, especially when you're just getting into mini painting. Um, and like basically, me. yes. And then we also did the mouth. We just mixed some bloody red and black together. And then we did the tongue as purple. And this week is all about doing the details and dry brushing. So it's a D and D he details and dry brushing. Uh, 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 <laughs> so this is what we're going to be doing. Um, and we did do some feathering here on the arms which is a fun technique to sort of blend colors together. So we took the darker color first and we feathered the purple down the arms. And then we took the leather brown, thinned it out so it acted more like a glaze and put that over the rest of the arms so that you can still see some of this purple playing through, but then it transitions to the full color of the leather brown, which is basically just a classic tan. So that is all we did last week. And now we're gonna have fun and do some detail work and dry brushing. So actually we're gonna start off with the dry brushing first because Yay. we have all this fun stuff we're going to heighten even further on the back plates and the arms and the legs. And then we're going to do some additional detail or uh, dry brushing on the front. Sorry, and then we'll do having, more. <laughs> I was having a problem with my dry brush. What did you do? <laughs> well, I, I kept, it came with this nice little plastic cap thing. Oh, yes, 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 the, yes. The bristles. And I'm like, well, this makes a lot of sense. Let me continue to use this on my mm -hmm. brush. And I, it wouldn't come off. Oh, no. I mean, it finally came off, but while you were uh, talking about intelligent things, I was just like, ah, <laughs> ah, ah. but it came Oh, off. dear. I'm good. <laughs> um, so I am using a dry brush from Redgrass Games. It's basically a brush that is flat and squared off as opposed to rounded and pointed. Um, and this is what helps you float the paint over the surface of the miniature's texture. So Lauren, we're going to be doing some more mixing of purples. Ooh. Um, as my youngest purple. used to call it, purple. Uh, also, I'm just gonna say this to make life easy. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been requested from chat that I am a bit, I need to go a bit louder and you need to go a bit softer, like sure. a bit on both ends. Um, I can flip that around. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely super quiet, which is the first time in a very long yeah, that's time interesting. Yeah. anyone has ever said that to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Settings have not changed. All right, let's yeah. see if that helps adjust things okay. a little bit. Uh, Martin and the chat will definitely let me know. Of course they will. Thank Yay. you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, so you said mixing, mixing, we're gonna mixing. Be mixing, mixing, which means we need ultramarine blue, which is basically classic, basic primary blue. We want bloody red, which if you're not using the Vallejo game color line, that is your classic primary color red. And we're also going to want, uh, do, 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 did I go with dead white or bone, bone white, bone white, bone white for this one. Okay. All the shaking. All the shaking. So we're going to make a lighter purple than what we Ooh. have on the body right now. Let me get my palette over here. Okay. And definitely want to have more blue than red. And then we'll put in a touch of white as opposed to a touch of gray. A touch of... A touch of Name everything. that song. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had to give uh, food sizes, are we talking peas? Are we yeah. talking... We're doing okay. uh, peas for the blue, and then I'm gonna do half a pea for the red. <laughs> All right. And sunflower seed I... for the white. Okay, why is all my Excellent. paint funky at the tips? Hold on. Funky. Yeah, there's like little um, dry strands. So I think I was probably capping and not paying attention to the bottles. It happens. Right. Okay, and then a touch of the bone white. And I'm gonna grab Something to mix this with that isn't go. my dry brush, because mm, yes, I, I I actually have one of these nice dry brushes. Yeah, so it helps to have a uh, mixing brush, which is basically yeah. 
just a beat up old brush, quite frankly. This is what I'll use for my mixing, mixing. You can tell your brushes are getting beat up when they start looking like tufts of grass out in the prairie. Uh, when things start curving over and spreading out, that's when the brush has seen better days. Mm. Ooh, okay. So I've mixed this and I've ended up with a purple, which is good because okay. the last last week when we were trying to get purple, purple. It, it took me a while to find my purple, but you want yeah. lighter purple. Yeah. I've got kind of a dark. So, that so then you add, add more white. More. Yep. That's why you start off with lesser white because okay. it's easier, remember, to add than to take away. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just start putting in drops because the same thing happened to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how light are we going? You want it to be about four tones lighter than the paint we had before. So I'm actually going to go oh. in yeah, a so couple I'm, more drops. I'm going to need a lot more white, actually. Yeah, no. I'm noticing the same thing. Hmm. You want this to be sort of the color of um, wisteria. The flower? The flower, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if I could or, picture that flower. I'm trying, to think, I'm trying to think of another good purple reference for this Ooh. one. Um, I mean, frankly, the fact that I even knew that wisteria was a flower that's has, good. has me happy. Ever because... see um, black raspberry ice cream? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what else would be a good purple, light purple color reference that you would see more often than not? Um little bit more white and then i think yeah. i think i'll be there because i also i remember when we were mixing last week i ended up going with a slightly lighter purple oh, than that's yours. true yeah uh not not much but i definitely i definitely now have to amp up the lightness of this purple in order to not be that purple which mm -hmm. is a purple also so, purple nurple what about purple chewing gum like grape chewing gum hmm, okay bubble yum chewing gum i don't chew gum but I know what you're talking about. Okay, great. I it's it's not anything wrong with gum. No, I, I have know. I have TMJ. I oh, think so people you don't know that. Want to, yeah. So uh, yeah, chewing sucks. It does. It <laughs> Repetitive do. chewing, bad. But yeah. I do miss gum. Gum is nice. Yeah. Okay. So you want it to be just a nice little lighter purple like that. Yeah. Which I'm actually testing. Ah, nope. Now that it's getting air, I'm gonna add a little bit more white. Well, while you're doing that, I'll grab a couple questions that we've Yay. had passed along from chat. The Lurking Ooh. Writer says, question, what do you think of custom top hats for these hook horrors on a future episode? I uh, <laughs> could make them if you want them. We just do an episode of making top hats for all of the creatures that we've painted. <laughs> just like a line of top hats. <laughs> I mean, that's just some hot glue, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. Hot glue and uh, parchment paper. Well, and, and making top hats. Yes. So. Well, that's just it. You can make the top hats out of hot glue and parchment paper. Oh. Yeah. Okay. See, I was totally thinking that's going to be more fun with green stuff, but that's okay. That's cool, too. Because what you can do with the parchment paper is you can have a um, actual circle underneath, and it would show through like tracing paper. And then you mm. put the hot glue on top to make the brim, and it'll be about the shape of the circle. And then you can take another one and make it, you know, the top hat part. That makes sense. Yeah. I also make terrain, so I kind of know some fun little tricks and whatnot for doing other things too. For V <laughs> is a well well rounded mini painter. That's a paint. Okay, so I have a nice light purple happening. Yeah, there's my dry I think brush. I've made it there. So I'm going to do some dry brushing, which is basically if you are new here, you dip your brush into your paint, not all the way, just a little bit, and then you take a paper towel and you remove the excess paint until it starts to streak like that and what that's going to do is bring out the texture on the miniature so you take it to your mini and you just start bringing it across and it'll bring out the texture that is higher up while leaving the more recessed bits darker in tone and the shell has a lot. And the shell has a lot. So we're going to start with this on the shell. <coughs> Pardon my cough. I'm getting over a cold. So that's why mm. I sound like the frog prince right now. I have a little yeah. ribbit going on. Aw. You know what? Now that I've uh, started to dry brush, I think mm -hmm. I need to make this even lighter. Oh, wow. I don't think, 
I don't think I've gone light enough. Oh my. I will continue. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, I'll also answer some more questions while I continue to mix Ooh. in more and more white. Um, nine wall nine says, is Walnut a good champion to get first? Um, I mean, it depends on a bunch of things. If you're asking about uh, in a time gate, if you've got a free time gate going on and Walnut is one of your champions, I mean, she's a solid DPS or not DPS. She's a solid tank. Um, also, her ultimate is amazing mm -hmm. because 20 billion little creatures go flying across the screen, attacking all of the enemies. Um, but as far as what to get first, it's going to it's going to depend on what your options are and what you're looking for. So, mm -hmm. uh, but if you get Walnut, you're going to have a nice tank. So it's, you're not really going to go wrong with any choices on a free time gate weekend, because in the end, the goal is to have a really deep roster because there's always going to be times in where you have champions that are your favorites that you use a lot of the time that you gear up really well. And then you get into an, an event or you get into doing a patron challenge and those champions are not available. And it's like, well, shoot. well, darn it. And so well, having shoot. a really deep roster is always a good thing. So there's never a bad champion to get because it's always going to help. Yeah. Um, I agree. <laughs> <coughs> the other thing I'm doing as I'm dry brushing this, I'm taking the edge of the brush and just sort of gliding it along the edge of the shell. Just to sort of highlight that a little bit more. Ah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I am failing miserably at getting this light enough. I, I apparently went way lighter on the shell Ooh. than I, I really thought, which okay. is fine. I like it. Yeah. It's a very pretty color, but I'm, I'm going to mix in more white. Because I actually even tested it. I'm like, okay. I'm just going to grab some of this paint uh -huh. like I'm not dry brushing and I paint it on the shell. I'm like, no, this is the same color. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I have not gone light enough, but I think I think we've got it now. Yeah, there you go. Little by little. Yeah. Um, I... Once you get the shell itself, then you can move on to putting this onto the biceps, the legs and like the neck area. The back of the neck, I should say. But mm. we're going to do a different color dry brushing here on the torso and the throat. So just a little heads up there. And on the inside of the shell. Is, is that a joke about on the torso and the throat? We're going to just a little heads up? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, I'm missing something here. <laughs> no, the heads up because... The, the oh, throat. heads up. I just, yeah, totally sorry. did not intend that one. Hi. That's okay. It, it, that's okay. I'm <laughs> fine with that. Um... Let's see. Oh, uh, Saif too says hats off to the C and E people who thought up the April Fool's gag. <laughs> but um, doom. Well, thank you. Uh, oh, well, I and I say thank you. It was not me. It was yes. it was some of our wonderful devs who worked on stuff who made that happen. Uh, yeah, apparently, it idea. was it was fun to do. Um, and so well, yeah, that's good. And I hope all of you got pictures of your favorite, uh, your favorite familiars in their regalia and enjoyed it. And now everyone's having fun in time gates. Yay. Time gates are fun. I gotta get that going too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fantastic Tanuki says, not painting related, but time gate related. Uh, my time gate options are between Daddius or Vlanya. Third option is Briv, but I unlocked him in the last event. Any recommendations? Uh, so I'd say my first recommendation is if you own if, if you've unlocked both Darius Darius and Vlanya, um, then I think go for Vlanya. I find her to be a much more effective buffer. But if you don't own one of them, go for the one you do not have. Uh, for all of the reasons that I talked mm -hmm. about before. But I would probably go for Vlanya. I just I find her more effective, and she's got a really nice synergy with Ariza, which is lots of fun. So that'd be my suggestion. But once again, we'll see what the chat has to say. The chat might have something different to say. This is true. All right. Uh, just remind me. So we were doing the shell. And then the what shell? else were we doing in this? <clears throat> we're doing color? the shell, the back of the neck. Back. So that lovely ridged area. We're also doing the biceps. And I am feathering it slightly where we have the tan and the purple meeting again. Ah. Uh, so I'm getting this bicep done here. And then I'll show you what I mean when I get to... 
the arm. So I'm just going to lightly just take some of this purple and feather it beyond lightly. Ever so lightly. All the feathering. Mm hmm I mean, you got to show off those muscles. You do. I mean, Crochet and Kevin Bacon worked on this for a very long time. Yes. Oh, that's right. I named mine Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yep. Yep. I named mine Crochet because yep. because it's it's the best. Because, because, because. Yep. Yeah, don't I expect good. much singing today. <laughs> <laughs> It'll no, just no, be no. croaky. Save, save your voice. See, no. this is where I should be doing Bollywood impressions. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm primed and ready for that one. Yep. Just uh, grab a grab a microphone and start start making things happen. And mm -hmm. be like, I'm I'm just gonna say a whole bunch of words while while I sound like this. Mm -hmm. I've definitely done some recording and some voiceover stuff in where I've had to stop what I'm doing and basically like warm up more to change my voice because I'm like, oh, I'm just really croaking today. I'm just yeah. super, <sighs> and I'm like, no, I need, I need to not sound like, uh, I need four more cups of coffee and, <laughs> uh, and I've just rolled out of bed, even though I haven't, I've been up for hours, but that my voice is like fun. Mm. Yeah, I love it. Um, uh, Canellan says, hey, is there a reason why there's no TimeGate mega thread on the subreddit this week? I thought they were set to auto publish one of the free once the free weekend starts. Um, I have been alerted that there will be one up by the end of the day. Thank you for letting us know every once in a while those automated services that we rely on so much. Uh, take a poop. They hiccup. Yeah, uh, but the team is working on it. There you go. I, I've been alerted oh, the team is working on it. That was like signing on a little bit later last night to send out an email. I'm like, okay, the email went out. Yay. And then I go and I'm like, the email did not go out. What happened? Yeah. Oh, that is the worst. I probably, it timed out. And because I closed my email, like, okay, it's sent and done. And I didn't like, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And if it timed out, I didn't see it jump back into drafts. So, oops. And, and Google tries to be smart and is like, hey, uh, I'm not going to send this unless you absolutely mm -hmm. want me to, mm -hmm. which is probably a good thing and, yeah. and until that moment. Until, until you're like, like no. I know I hit send. I saw you go, okay, sent. Guess not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The words technology is fun and count on it for hiccups. <laughs> uh, yeah, the double time gate weekend threw everything off. That is right. Mm. This is this is one of those times a year where we don't line up quite quite at the same calendar rate as the Faerun calendar and everything gets a little skewed and uh, the wonderful Reddit automated services got confused. There we go. So, uh, But the team is working on it. Top, top people. Operators are standing by. Top people. Tippity I wonder top. if that is a reference that people don't get anymore. Operators are standing by. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, chat. Who remembers that reference? <laughs> Like, because nowadays it would just be head to our website, right? This is true. Oh, why does what? that hurt my heart a little bit? <laughs> but because, because you know, that's what happens—the march of time. <sighs> I mean, I'm I'm gonna be. Uh, I have a birthday next week, and so I'm gonna be hitting another number, and I'm gonna be that much further away from uh, things references that people don't get anymore. Uh huh. <laughs> Did you so, yeah. see the thing about, and I've tested it and it does hold true. Um, when kids are under a certain age, well, let's put it this way. When you mimic a phone, what do you do with your hand? Oh, yeah, I've seen this, but. Eh. Mm -hmm. And younger do. ones will do this. I mean, it totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. I was like, Whoa. I mean, for the same reason that if you show someone um, a three and three quarter floppy disk, it's the save icon. Right. It's it's not a, a floppy disk. Right. It's what you save with. I and mean, that's just it's just the march of time. Uh, <sighs> hmm. What a weird thing to uh talk about while we're painting minis. I, I we do tangents quite nicely. <laughs> yeah, this this is kind of a sad one though. Let's let's mm -hmm. skip to other things. Yes. <laughs> Yes, oh, Banana let's... Mobster. I Hi. still have 33 and 45 RPM records around somewhere. Oh, yeah. Listen, 
when I was young, my dad was super proud of the fact that he had the entire Beatles collection on on right. vinyl. Right. And I listened to all the Beatles on vinyl and thought mm -hmm. it was super cool. And I still kind of think it's super cool. But I really do like that we've now got the remastered versions and oh, yeah. the easier access of computers. Like, I have a tiny bit of nostalgia, but it's mostly the nostalgia of, boy, am I glad that I don't have to do that anymore. True. My dad had one of those reel-to-reel -reel tape players, so I remember being young mm. and, like, feeding the tape through and everything like that. Yeah. Oh, God. If we if we get into a, I remember back in my day off. Back in my day. Be, I can yeah. do that voice. I can do the voice. <laughs> I can do the granny voice. No problem today, kiddos. Back in my day. Back I in had my to, day. I had to play Idol Champions, uh, and I didn't have any familiars, and so I didn't even have familiars mm -hmm. with top hats. And so if you wanted to level up your champions, you had to do it the old-fashioned way by clicking. And if you wanted to get stuff done over the weekend, you, you had to be do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> None of this fancy familiar malarkey. <laughs> get off my Idol Champions lawn. <laughs> get off my porch. <laughs> <laughs> Paint and slay with, with old grannies. There we go. <laughs> now I'm thinking I should record my voice like this for, like, you know, granny. <laughs> Get Absolutely. off my green grass. That's a very good <laughs> reference. Dark, what is it? Dark Cyril. That's a good one. Oh, what did they say? It's just, they said, Get off my green grass. That was a oh, very good. Said, oh, nice. Yep. So I have blush. Oh. <laughs> and, and Martin throws in, if it makes me feel any better, uh, Martin apparently does the phone up to my ear properly, and the floppy disk I know is a floppy disk, even though I'm very young still. Thanks. You know what? That's cool, but I don't, like, I think it's cool that people f get those references. Mm -hmm. But I don't blame oh, no. kids nowadays. And I say kids nowadays when I'm pretty sure I also mean, like, people in their 20s. <laughs> like, if they don't get that, because why would you have grown up? Why would you know that if yeah. you didn't grow up with it, you know? Yeah. It's, it's just one of those things. Yeah. Um, so once you're done doing the feathering around and dry brushing on the legs, I think the I am. back of the shell, the arms, and the back of the neck and around the face and head, <clears throat> we're going to go in and do a different purple. I need to grab a different paper towel. And I need to rinse my dry brush. Apparently different my hair has towel. static cling. It keeps drifting towards the uh, dial up. Ooh. That's an ouch. <laughs> yeah, yep, I, I remember. Hey, get off of the phone. I want to call the BBS. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you know what, though? Here, I'm going to I'm gonna get us back to Idol Champions. Yes. Thanks to Finn76, who wants to know Quillic or Toragar. And that's a hard one. Mm. I'm going to say Quillic because of the two, Quillic is a better buffer, in my opinion. Toragar is really good if you want to put together like an evil formation, yeah. and especially if you're going to have like Archon and Krull. Um, but Quillic will be useful in a bunch of different situations. Yeah. So if I had to choose between those two, I'd mm -hmm. go Quillic. That makes sense. Question, do you still Question. have a good amount of your light purple left? The, does the stuff we were just using? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then just put a little touch of yellow. Yellow. Because we want to kind of give this a warmer tone purple. So I'm going to put the yellow to the side and gradually incorporate it. So it's the sunny yellow, or the sun yellow, I should say. Again, game color from Vallejo. Basically your primary classic yellow color for other paint lines. And I'm going to mix this yellow in. And so we're still we're still wanting a purple. We're just kind of it's wanting... It's going to have a, like a, um, a dusky purple to it. Ah, okay. I kind of ended up with a little bit of a greenish purple. I might have gone too much with the oh, yellow. Oh, too much yellow then, yeah. Yeah. So you can offset it by adding a little bit more red. All right. This is, uh, the hook horror has just been Lauren experiments with mixing and, and learns that she's not amazing at it. <laughs> so you Lauren. can see the two different colors there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I put it I'm way swatching. too much yellow. Yeah. I, I went... I, I took what I'd been doing with the purple 
mm. way too much into account when I added the yellow. There I was just go. like, I need to do a bunch of a Lots bunch of yellow of because yellow. nope, nope, just a touch. Nope, nope, nope. Just okay. a touch. Okay, rinsing my mixing brush so that doesn't turn into a rock hard lump. Yeah, and oh. there's my dry brush. And so with this purple, we're now going to do under the chin and the throat and down through the abdomen and under the shell is the plan. Under the shell. Under, under the, shell. the shell. Not to be confused with under the sea. Mm. That's a different story. Yeah, I'm glad I got a different paper towel for this. Yeah. Uh, oh, Devil Crayon. My epic time gates are nearest. Keddy Bree and Shaka, who I already have. Do I gear Shaka or do I get one of the other two? So I I usually suggest uh, when you get a free time gate or any time gate that you prioritize champions you don't have for all the reasons I talked about before, because you're going to want a deep roster. Um, so I would say as much as Shaka is awesome and with Gosric coming out, you definitely want to have uh, all the the rivals of water deep yeah. and get them nicely geared i think because you'll you'll have opportunities to gear the other the other rivals uh i'd go for whoever you don't have and if that's between uh nearest and caddy brie uh, yeah all three of those are pretty good yeah. uh i would go for whoever you have less champions in a, in a slot slot yeah look at look at your slots who do you who could you really use another champion in that mm -hmm. slot and go for that one? Ooh, getting under the shell is a it's is a trickier. bit of a challenge. Yeah. Honestly, go for what you can reach. You don't have to get every last nook and cranny of it. Yeah. Uh, well, this thing does have a lot of nook and crannies. It do that. Hmm. It does help because it's it's a little hard to see under where the shell is, but it's got a lot of detail, and so it's definitely worth um, doing it. Yeah, yeah, getting getting that dry brush in there because it does help a lot. Yeah, and then under the neck, you said. Yep, under the neck, down the abdomen, and under the shell. I mean, we got to make those abs stand out. You better work. All the ads. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either, but I'm here for it. Sorry. All, don't be sorry. This what is else? the green tea kicking in. My brain's kind of like, hey, we have caffeine. Mm, the, the lovely caffeine. Mm -hmm. Ah. Help Devil Crayon went with Nears. Cool. I mean, once again, there wasn't a bad choice there. I, I could see why you were calling that an epic time gate. So. All right. Got to finish under the neck here. Mm -hmm. Got to get those neck yeah. muscles. Muscles. Neck muscles, muscles, I guess. Yeah. The, but they, they stand out a lot. There's like, you know, you can really see this thing is straining quite yes. a bit. It's, it's ready to jump in and start making making itself a problem for everyone. For a, a moment, I don't know why I thought you were going to say it's going to jump in and start making pancakes. I'm like... I mean, because someone was making pancakes before us. I guess. I guess. I mean, I, I am always... This is the stream and where we talk about food all the time. It is true. Or we go dark. Apparently, that's what we do, is we paint, we go dark, dark, or we talk about food. Oh, well. <laughs> Garwar says, I now realize we should have lobbied for one of these to be named Sh Sh Shakira. These hooks don't lie. I kept wanting to say Shaka, even though oh, I, I'm looking at right? Garwar, and the joke needs me to say Shakira. So I'm sorry I trampled all over your joke, Garwar. I thought it's it was okay. very funny. He's okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to stick with, with Crochet, I think. Crochet's cute. Crochet is wonderful, and I'm I'm so happy. And it's been a while since I've crocheted, so maybe this will be an Same. inspiration to get back into it. Yeah, I used to crochet all the time. I crocheted a fair bit. I was never amazing at it, but I, I did like it. Yeah. Uh, did a I, couple of blankets, did a bunch of hats, nice. lots of hats and socks, hats there and socks. Go. I Nothing used to have a crochet fancy. business. <laughs> like I do like really? art fairs. Yeah. I used to do like art fairs and everything. 
and design patterns and stuff and sell them on Etsy. That's awesome. Yeah. I haven't crocheted in ages, though, because um, <laughs> cats <laughs> are definitely yeah. a factor. Yeah. Also, uh, yarn takes up a lot of room, I discovered. It does that. Yarn takes up a ton of room. So but I'm, it's very pretty. Yeah. I'm going to take some of this dusty purple mm. and bring it down a little bit even further on the areas where the tan and the purple have met. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So just lightly. To help so I'm kind of more I'm of the focused, blending. Yeah, so I'm going to focus this sort of on the um, upper forearm of the hooks and the shins, if that helps, and the shins of the legs. Or the shins and the calves, I should say. The shins and the calves. The shins and the baby cows. Kidding. <laughs> I mean, whatever works, right? Uh huh. Oh, we've got a new time gate uh, question. Oh. So Malkaver asks Crond or Jim for my free time gate. Ooh, those are both Ooh. good DPS. Um, I like Jim. Yeah, I like them both. Here's here's. Are you interested in getting into the Jim Dark Magic meta? <laughs> if you're interested in that, go for Jim. If you really want to play around with what Jim can do, what Jim can do for you. Yes. Go for Jim. Um, if you are like me, and I know I am, and you are more of a casual <laughs> player or the kind of player who is doing other things and let it play in the mm -hmm. background, go for Krond. But once again, uh, not a wrong answer there. Definitely not. No. And... Pancakes337, oh, hi, Pancakes. Hello, My pancakes. house growing up was just wicker baskets of yarn as far as the eye could see. Ah, you had you had a crocheter in the house, eh? Or a neater. You do end up with yarn everywhere. Like, I mm -hmm. tried to be good. I was, I was a very casual crochet. It was very much like, this is what I'm going to try to do when I have free time. Uh, and it was... A relatively cheap hobby because yarn is not that expensive no. and you get one pair of crochet hooks and then you just You're watch set. all the YouTube yeah. videos. Um, but yeah, you do end up with yarn everywhere. Yeah. And that was the issue, honestly, because my one cat, Rory, she just finds things and she hoards it and she runs away with things. And I got to find like, this is stressful. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it's it's one thing if they're playing with it, and then the next thing you know, they're like eating it. Mm -hmm. And that's what mm -hmm. she was doing. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I don't. Plus, I have such a backlog of things that I still have stuff to give as gifts for people. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't need a crochet anymore. <laughs> I don't feel you, need. You've crochet for days. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just going through it. I'm using this the dusky purple again, moving it forward. I'm doing a little bit more around the face. Oh, yeah, trying to get, uh, I mean, this is obviously a, um, do you think that this hook horror has laugh lines or is this just an older one? I'm going to call them scream lines. <laughs> <laughs> All the screaming. Yep. I mean, it is, it, it's in that uh, mm -hmm. position that, that mm -hmm. most D and D monsters have the, I yeah. am yelling angrily at you. So you can see how this is kind of continuing the blending and the graduation of colors that way. Yeah. But it's also bringing out more of the details. Oh my God, Screech marks. Down. Not to be confused with stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is stretching open its mouth in order to scream yeah. at someone. So. I mean, Dark Cyril and I, we're, we're seeing eye to eye on sense of humor today. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so um, that should be... Were we also doing the feet? We are going to get to that, but not with the purple. Not, okay. Not with Good the purple. I thought for a second um, I had forgotten. No, you have not. You're perfectly fine. What we are going to do is go to that sun yellow again okay. and just do a little dab. And we're going to do, you need just a very small amount because we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing on that beak. Ah. Yeah. We want to brighten just, that up just a touch. Just with the, the yellow all by just itself. Just this yellow all by itself. And you can see there's this line here. Oh, yeah. I'm using that as my place the brush there and pull. 
marker. And I'm just going to gradually build this up so it's a brighter yellow. Hmm. But I don't want to go in and like full throttle paint it yellow because then it's just going to look like a clown nose, but yellow. Yeah. And we've this done a pretty a good, good job to, of keeping yeah. this thing scary. Yeah. This is basically just creating a little touch of a brighter tone at the tip of the beak. And I'm only doing it to the top. I was just about to ask. I was literally just about to ask. Are we doing the, the bottom as well? Or? No, just the top. I made one side. Uh, I did more on one side that, than the yeah. other. It's okay. No, no, you must be symmetrical. <laughs> go back and play the side to side game. Martin wants to know if there's anything that you haven't done. I think most of chat was echoing that when, when you were like, I had a crochet business on Etsy. <laughs> Ironically, it was called VSM Handcrafted Designs. This is before I was into D&D. I had no idea what VSM meant, which, <laughs> by the way, throws me off still mm -hmm. when I see VSM I'm like, yes, what about me? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> you ring? So the funny thing about that, uh, the Demiplane show, the new one that just started that I'm on, mm -hmm. Children of Verite. Uh, and I won't talk too much about this because it's not my character, but it came up a lot in our last episode uh, this week. Hope's character, Robin, mm -hmm. is a, a grandmothered aged woman who has had a multitude of life experiences. Mm -hmm. And it's become in the chat a fun thing in where whenever she says, I remember when I was a, because she's had a ton of life mm -hmm. experience, that the chat just starts to riff on whatever she's talking about. You know, as oh, I remember when I was a volunteer fireman. I remember when I was a was a, a volunteer corpse. I remember when I was a volunteer tree. I remember funny. when I was a volunteer cat. Like <laughs> they just love it so much. That's and I love fantastic. it too. Like it's amazing. And so they just they're on the edge of their seats waiting for for Robin to announce uh -huh. some other job that she has had in her life. That's that's wonderful. All right, I think I need to am stop I with Tatiana. The no, darling, I am Voronika. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary dragon. I'm I'm Voronika on Black Dice Society. Yes, Tatiana is uh, the wonderful Becca Scott, Becca Scott who was on. Yes. Court of the Raven Queen. Court of the Raven Queen, which I'm, I'm wearing the shirt because as I was telling V earlier before yes. we went live, I'm, I'm, I'm missing Orkira this week real yeah. hard. So I wore the shirt. Okay, All so right, you can next? see there's just that nice little bit of touch of yellow on the beak, which yeah. I wanted. Uh, now we're going to go to leather brown and bone white. And we're just going to lighten up that. Okay, this keeps playing with my hair. I need to go away. Um, we're going to take leather brown, add in a touch of white. Where's my leather brown? Oh, no. Uh oh. Okay, dead white? Dead, uh, no, bone white and leather brown. Bone, bone white, okay. We'll do equal parts. Um, and apparently I did not grab my, my ah, I'm missing a brown. Where are you, brown? Leather brown, there we go. <laughs> you know, before the show, we go through and I say, okay, V, what do I need? And I try to pull them all out. And apparently I forgot one. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. How much of the bone white and how much of the brown are we doing? Equal parts. Okay. And, and equal part. Yes. Oh, don't, don't you do that. Don't do that bone white. No. That's a no. That's a no. Is it? <clears throat> Yeah, that moment where you start to squeeze and nothing comes out and you're like, mm, you're, you're gonna, don't, don't you yes. explode on me. <laughs> don't you dare. Basically, you want a lighter leather brown. Ah, okay. That's what we're going for. Um, so this is like a nice cafe latte. How's that? I think this one I've actually, on the first try, Yay! got the color. I think I, I think I did it, folks. Yay! <laughs> This hook horror has been fun. I've just it done a very bad yeah. job of of getting my colors mixed the same way you are. <laughs> and I mean, All it's right. also, it's different when I'm explaining to you from across a distance and I can't show you exactly. So that's true. There is some interpretation that happens. So again, we're going to dry brush this and we're going to start at the hooks 
and work our way down the arms and work at the bottom of the feet and go up towards the shins. All and right. then um, dance it a little bit around the face. But I'm going to do that last because I want that yellow to have a chance to dry. I was just about to say because because the yellow, that makes because sense. Because yellow. Oh, um, Pancakes says, my mom was a knitting pattern designer. Ooh. Yeah. Pattern design is fun. And that makes a lot of sense why you would then have tons of yarn and, and stuff all around the house. Mm-hmm. But that's very cool. Yeah. Um, Manic Clown wants to know Nearest or Dahani. Oh, Dahani. Yes. Go Dahani. Murder Burb. Yeah, Murder Burb is so much fun. Also, once again, Rivals. Mm-hmm. Rivals Waterdeep. Um, Del Ramian says Daddius or Paulton, which is better. Oh, go Paulton if you need more gold find. Go Daddius if you just want to go straight buffer. I think I think one is not better than the other, but if you're if you're looking your for needs. Yeah, if you're yeah. looking for gold find, go for Paulton. If you're just looking for a, a bigger buffer, go for Daddius. Yeah. Um, I'm also putting this onto the <coughs> pardon me, the spines that are sticking out. Ah. That makes sense. Yeah. God, there's so many spines. I forgot how many spines there are. There are. All the spines. There's a lot of texture. All the spines and bumps. So many spines and bumps. Okay. Oh. Hmm? I've just, I had a moment where I forgot which hook I was on. Oops. I think I was on the right arm, so I'm going to go to the left arm. Okay. Choose your hook wisely. Ah, yep, I had that moment. I was just like, wait, where was I? What was mm-hmm. I doing? Fair. That's what totally I get for... Fair. Looking, looking at the stream and looking at the chat and then looking at you and then looking down. I just, I need to focus on one thing at a time. Multitask. So yeah. I have drawn this up from the base of the hook and I've carried it through to that midpoint where we had that dusky purple. And now you can see it's created this cool little blending effect. Yeah. With the dry brushing. Yeah, that helps a lot. My, yeah. my blending was okay, but the dry brushing has yeah, absolutely it helps helped. It helps carry through. Yeah. Um, so I'm also going to add this over here on the front spikes and the tummy area. Hmm. Tummy spikes. We're also getting the same mix of leather brown and bone white. Are you just doing this over the brown bits on the spikes? I am you... carrying it up a little bit on the purple for the spikes. Okay. So kind of trying to do the same blending yes, thing? Yes, exactly. Exactly ah. that. It enhances the blending that's happening on those points. Literally those points. That makes sense. Yeah. Ah, we had one of those quiet moments of we just did. I just realized that I'm like I'm thinking. I'm painting and I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. It's a Friday here. We've, <laughs> we've turned to NPR now. Right? This is like we said, the Bob Ross. <laughs> this is the Bob Pink. Ross of Vital Champions. Happy little hook horrors. That <laughs> that was surprisingly difficult to say. I was going to say, happy, how was that one? Happy little hook horrors. As I continue to be very careful to say horrors. Mm-hmm. Get those R's in there. Horrors. Yes. Get very piratey. Horrors. Horrors. Arr, bring up the hook horrors. <laughs> Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're a pirate and you start to go straight for the errs, you have to get to the second err. You can't, you can't really? err too long on the first R. You have to, you have to get all the R's. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nubal 76, unawkward silences. Yes, I agree. Uh-huh. Comfortable silences. I love those, though. Those are special. Yeah. Those moments I like a lot. Yeah. I mean, it. I do eventually get a little uncomfortable because we're on stream and I am. And you're like, oh, wait, we need to entertain too. Yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to be talking. Ah, I'm supposed to be talking. But, you know, those those comfortable silences are nice. Yeah. When you, you can be in a room with someone and you don't feel the need to immediately engage mm-hmm. in conversation all the time. Yeah. 
It'd be fun if I could get out to Seattle and you and I could do a paint and stream live together. Ooh, that'd be nice. Random um, thoughts. Sorry, my brain is hopping through many different ideas right now. <laughs> I mean, it, it would finally um, it would finally be an inspiration for me to buy that nicer camera for the, the close-ups of the go. minis, right? Because yeah. we would need to have that. Yes. And Although, then we honestly, could stand around my standing mostly. desk. Oh, okay. Maybe. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it would be, that would it be would a good. It would be good, yeah. A good, a good excuse. Yep. Yeah. She's Agreed. coming to visit. Agreed. And then write it off on my taxes. Ba, ba, ba. Yay. Yay for taxes. Oh, ouch. Yeah. I've noticed uh, that I wasn't as good with painting under the feet as I should oh. have been. So uh, this dry brushing is helping fix that well, uh, past me mistake. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking under the, the feet and I'm like, why is that purple? <laughs> should that's that's no no bad lauren don't forget there's also the um spikes on the back oh yeah and on the top of the head and the spikes on the back of the shell we're doing the same thing as the front and where the the tips just kind of try to yep. get the um like the that. fading effect yeah very cool Right now I'm going to get the face done because my brush is not as loaded with paint so I can safely just dry brush the actual face area and really bring out those screech ronkles. <laughs> come come oh, here, boy. happy happy ronkles. Happy ronkles. That's the technical term for a hook horror that has a lot of wrinkles is, is the face ronkles. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's better than the screaming ronkles. True. I always feel like I'm petting this thing when I'm getting the top of the head. Right? It's just like, such a oh, good you're, boy. You're, such a, you're so good, yes. Such a good Kevin Bacon. Oh dear, that would be very odd. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Kevin Bacon, if you're watching, which I highly doubt, but still. And Kevin Bacon appears in chat. <laughs> Could you imagine? I mean, he's got to have some hobbies, right? And why wouldn't it be watching painting streams? I think we have a higher chance of that happening with um, Cavill, Henry Cavill. Oh, yes. Yes. I have seen his enthusiasm mm -hmm. with Warhammer painting. And yep. while Warhammer is not my jam, I, I am always enthusiastic about other people's enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. So I'm taking this color and I am just taking it to the edge of the beak. I don't want to bring this all the way up and get rid of that yellow, mm. but I'm using it to highlight the edge of the mouth. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if that's part of the beak or a seam kind of on the bottom of the mouth. I yeah. think it's part of the beak, but yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Do, do, do. Oh, and I've stopped looking at chat. I'm sorry. Hi, that. chat. How you doing? Oh, chat, so chat, many, chat, chat. so many extra stuff. Storyteller Mars is in chat. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, folks, heard there was an issue with the TimeGate thread on Reddit. I'm popping in to let you know I've looked into it. The thread should go live at the top of the hour. If it still doesn't work, I'll do something again. Thank you, Mars. Thank you, Mars. There you go. That has been your Reddit update for today. On do, the do, hour, do, do, every do, do, hour. Do, 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 do. At at the tone, the time will be twelve fifty five Pacific. Bong. <laughs> there you go. That's another. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another reference. Remember that, calling up four one one. That is a reference that is <clears> actually <throat> almost too old for me. Like I think I only know that as as a joke. Mm hmm But yes. Add the tone. The Please tone record your greeting. That's what I <laughs> refer to it now as, or that's what I associate it with. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Add the tone. Please record your greeting. Now, that reminds me, I haven't... I haven't have not recorded my voicemail in forever. I wonder if... I, I don't even know what my voicemail message says. Ruh -ruh. That's a... What a, I mean, I'm sure it says something like, hi, it's me, leave a message kind of, mm -hmm. kind of thing. I'm sure mm -hmm. there's nothing on there that I wouldn't want to be on there, but I yeah. just, I can't even, it's been so long since I recorded it that I can't uh -huh. even remember what I put. I should probably call myself one of these days and take a listen. Hello, this self. is another odd this thing. Self. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> 
I'll I'll wait until I have that moment in where I can't find my phone and I'll make Luke call my phone to find it. And then we'll listen to the voicemail together. There you go. Uh, Garwar says, so Lauren, you're saying that your sole weakness, your sole weakness on this mini, Mm S-O-L-E. Mm-hmm. 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 Your other joke was better. When you didn't pay the fee. Yeah. (laughs) Um, And Legendary Dragon 75, Horror is the monster name. It is a hook. hook. Horror. Hook. Horror. Yep. 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 It is. It's one of those names that's uh, way better to see in print than it is to try to say out loud. I but hey, it's also a fun it. name. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. I think. I think I'm pretty good. Yeah. I think if I keep going, I'm just going to start going over. Purple yeah. Bits. Yeah. So this is about where we are now. To dum. To D. To da. Happy with that. Okay. I'm going to rinse my dry paint brush. And now. Yeah, this dry brush is getting a, a workout. Yeah, today. it is. It really is. Like I said, it's a D&D day for dry brush and details. Mm-hmm. So now we're going to jump over to Beastie Brown. All the browns. All the Beastie browns. Brown. And we're going to dry brush that face. Ooh, and I was ew. not good about wash not washing, but wiping off my nozzles with my paints last week. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely need to do the same. Whoops. At least at least with uh Beastie Brown. I'm just gonna no. I'm just gonna do this now. Ew. Alright, that's not pity. Yeah, it came out a little watery. Yeah. Like, oh, ew. The Beastie Brown is also one of the few paints um in this set that I bought. 20 Mm -hmm. episodes ago that when I shake it to mix it, it's the only one in where I, there's enough that I've used that I actually feel some of Mm -hmm. it gone Mm -hmm. that I actually kind of feel it sloshing around. So, um, which I think is super impressive, but it is definitely something to keep in mind. All right. The whole base with the Brown whole base with the Brown and beastie Brown is basically a mid tone warm Brown for those of you playing the, I don't have that color line game at home. For those of you playing the home game. Oh, there we go. Ended up with way too much brown on my on my dry brush. I got too excited and, and it was Whoops. bad. Whoopsie. I, I'm gonna take a sip of tea. I can talk about, hey, come to our Discord, discord.gg slash idle champions to learn all about the things that we are doing. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean I figured I'd take advantage of it, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Garwar yeah, says, but I y'all haven't are swallowed yet. <laughs> <laughs> I win. I win. <laughs> like, do not spit on the expensive camera. No, no. Always, always uh, away from the expensive mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, I will applaud this joke from Garwar, okay. which is, y'all are missing the obvious Beastie Brown. No sleep till Hooklin. Oh, I like that. That's one. real. That's, that's a good real one. good. That's super good. Accepted and approved. There you go. There you go. I, I may have lambasted you for your last pun, but that one was really good. It was. Uh, oh, and it is one o'clock, so I guess I should continue to say, no, if you are joining true. us from the game, welcome. We are on the last hour of our painting of the Hook Horror. As you can see, we're doing lots of detail work. Uh, if you would ever want to join us on our adventures in painting, you can find all the information that you need. And I'm not going to drink again because I just did it mm-hmm. on our Discord, discord.gg slash idle champions, where you can find the list of supplies to paint along. Uh, if you would like to paint along with previous episodes, they are all on our YouTube. And yeah, you can catch up with us uh, next week. Do, do we want to announce next week now? I think so. Yeah. 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 So- so, um, we have a special guest coming next week. So you might have noticed that yesterday we announced, actually, Masood announced that Gosric is coming to Idol Champions, one of the rivals of Waterdeep. And as you know, usually when a new content creator brings their character to our game and becomes a champion, they tend to show up on a lot of shows. You know, they get interviews, mm-hmm. and, you know, we celebrate them. Mm-hmm. Well. We are very proud to say that Masood is going to be joining us on this show. Yay! Yay! Uh, I'm so excited for it. Yeah, 
Absolutely. And we are going to be doing an appropriate critter for Gosric. We're going to be doing an ice spider. That's right. Yes. It, it is content warning spiders, but yes. we are going to be uh, painting an ice spider with Masood. It is mm -hmm. going to be so much fun. It, and it is going to be a one day paint. So yep. we're going to start to finish the whole thing. Yeah. So uh, if, if you want to join us, this is the WizKids spider with egg clutch. That's the mm. set you want to get. Um, so yeah, and color wise, all you're going to need is your basic white, basic black, and your primary blue. So in the Vallejo game color line, you're looking at dead white, black, and ultramarine blue is what we'll be using for next week. That is it. Well, obviously in paintbrushes, but those are the colors we're going to work with to get both spider and spider eggs painted. Mm. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. <laughs> yeah. So there'll be yes. three of us on the show and I am yes. excited. Me too. Um, okay, so we did. Uh -oh. J-Dog says, egg clutch becomes pile of ice cubes. I mean, you're not wrong. They're just ice cubes. Uh, you know how you get those those mm -hmm. drinks, those ice cubes mm -hmm. with like a worm inside? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm excited next? for this, though, because this is kind of like riffing off my own sort of um, palette idea. So yeah, custom, custom paint job, too. Absolutely. And absolutely up Gosrick's alley. I mean, we're, yes. we'll, we'll just pull them apart we, afterwards and make ice spider soup. I think it's fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing the base and we're going to jump to just straight up bone white. Straight up bone white. Yep. That's dead white. That's gray. That's bone white. Okay. Bone white. Mm. So beige. Beige or ivory. For basic color names. Um, and we're going to do that on the base as well, but just go a little less heavy handed with it. Okay. And sort of lighten how much pressure you're putting on your bristles. And you just want to bring out those more upper regions of the texture here. I mean, how often do we um, dry brush over our dry brush that we have dry brushed? I haven't really done that yet. Yeah. But it gives it a neat stone flecked look to the base. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And I keep wanting to do way too much. Very, very light. Hmm. Get in between the It's the a suggestion. <laughs> it, it, it's a hint of bone white. Yeah. A touch of bone white. Yep. I don't know why I go into NPR voice whenever I do that. Maybe because you're thinking well, softer? Hmm. Maybe. But also creepier. This is true. I mean, maybe, not on maybe. purpose. No. The, the NPR part of it isn't creepier, but definitely no. I'm 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 in the creepy ish mood right now with, with this with this creature. So it's just like, mm -hmm. ah, and welcome to a touch of bone white. Touch of bone white. Yeah. Um Zodlander asks a very pertinent question, which is where do you get the minis? Uh, so we always suggest you check out your friendly local game store first, mm -hmm. because all the minis that we've done so far have been from the WizKids um, no Nozzlers Marvelous? Nozzlers. WizKids Nozzlers Marvelous Miniatures. <laughs> that one. I'm like, Nozzlers? Nozzlers. Nope. Oh, yeah. Nozzlers. Because those are, they're primed minis yeah. um, that are D&D creatures and awesome. So I would suggest taking, and, checking out your local game yeah, store first. Yeah, and WizKids actually has a website so you can search for a local store, which is wizkids.com slash local store, I want to say. Mm. Something along those lines. Um, if you go to WizKids website, type in wizkids.com store locator. Use that button. It's handy. Yeah. Um, and if they don't have the mini yep. that you need, uh, ask them to order. They can probably get it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you unfortunately don't have a friendly local game store nearby, these should all also be available on Amazon. Yeah. So or, uh, just do a search for yeah. the names. You can go to Amazon. You can go to Miniature Market. However, you can go to um, shop.wizkids.com. You can also go to dndmini.com. I think to remember. that's what it is. Yeah, I think yeah. it's dndmini.com for the official Dungeons & Dragons version of WizKids store. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely a few options out there in online land if local is not your first option. Which, unfortunately for a lot of people, it is happens. not an option. Uh, yep. I mean, I'm lucky in that when 
when what was my local game store that was within 15 minutes closed, mm-hmm. um, we had another option that is a little bit further away, but yeah. is still very easily reachable. Yeah. So, but I, I live in a very uh, populous area that has a lot of geek stuff. And so I know not everybody is uh, that lucky. I'm also taking um, the bone white and I'm just taking it to the tip of the hooks. Oh, okay. And doing it very lightly just to further enhance it. Mm. Oh, that might be too much. Yeah, you don't need a lot. The lightest of touches. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, J Dog gonna... is asking about Ooh. what's in the change log. I don't remember enough offhand to say for sure. So I don't know, but hey, check the change log in game. Um, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on the change log in the game because that's where you'll find a lot of the information on bug fixes that come out um, because the team is constantly working on fixing bugs. So, uh, yes. but I, I am not in a position to know at this moment and I'd hate to give you the wrong information. <laughs> so yeah. I think in this, I'm just gonna say, if you would like to see what's in the, the most recent change log, go to your game. Go to the bottom right-hand side where there's those couple of buttons. One of them is support, so you, you can tell people if there's an issue with your game, but one of them is also change log. Mm-hmm. I'm also putting the bone white on the tips of all the spiky things. Tips of the spiky bits. Yep. And Can do. It helps to sort of use the edge of your brush at this point and just hover it above the surface area. Ah. So it'll catch just the tips of everything. The tiniest of details. It's this is this is the video. Yeah, this is this is the part in where I spend a lot of time <gasps> holding your breath. Don't forget to breathe. Yeah, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to stretch. I'm and telling myself just as much as everybody. Yep. These are also the, the moments in where I remind myself it is just painting. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is just painting. It's it's not brain surgery. It's okay. Ah, you'll be good. You'll be good. Yeah, I mean for all of the angst I've had over making sure that these colors mix properly, I'm pretty happy with how this this Good. this bad boy is looking. Excellent. Oh, Zodlander says, I got a lot of scavenged dwarves and demons from other games like Warhammer, but I'd like some monsters that show up a lot in our games. Thanks for the tips. Uh, yeah, you don't necessarily have to get D&D miniatures to have mm-hmm. D&D miniatures, yeah. uh, especially if you're looking for PCs, I have often found in a variety of places you can grab miniatures. Absolutely. Okay, so that is Bone White with the dry brush. Now what we're going to do is go to Bone White with a detail brush. And okay. we're going to get those little bitty claws. Oh dear. The claws. Okay. After all this dry brushing, I immediately, I, I put the tip of the brush into the paint and then I immediately went for the towel. I'm like, wait, no, wait, no, oh, stop. No, this is, this, this will not be a dry brush. Yes. So I am going to. Very I love lovely. that we're going for white for these and that kind of, it's, it's so, um, it's so easy to think about going for black with the claws. Mm-hmm. I like that these are going to be white. Yeah. Well, I figured I'd riff a little bit off of our, um, actual art and game. Yeah. Mm. Very carefully. Oh, very small. Very carefully. Very, very small. Yep. There we go. It's a pedicure day. <laughs> We're going for a Manny Petties, except this one doesn't have a Manny. He's got the Petties. I mean, if this creature came in for a manicure pedicure, would I'd you run. consider the manicure to be the spikes on the hook? I suppose so, but I'd also be noping it on out of there. <laughs> I mean, it may be, but also maybe they're a good tipper. Fair. <laughs> Probably because they just like pull out a whole bunch of bills at once on the hook and they can't separate it. <laughs> 
You know, they, they just happen to have a nice little windfall and want to treat themselves mm-hmm. to a spa day. And there's nothing wrong with that. Even even the monsters that live in the Underdark need even that every once in a while. just want to look pretty sometimes. Exactly. Can't begrudge them that. Oh, definitely. Chonker toes. I just saw that in the chat from uh, Mel Cave here. Yeah, yeah. Chonker toes. It, it's helping a little bit that these these toes are super, super big, but... Yeah. Mm. I got it. It's not like doing the red slot, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nails and claws for days. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying desperately to not get it on the base. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like... I mean, I'm trying not to get it on the rest of the foot as well, but I feel like if I get it on the foot, like, that's not going to be as noticeable. It'll just like, okay, maybe this claw look, uh, went a little bit further up than the yeah. others. And you don't have to get it completely covered. Like, if you sort of hover it over the edge area, if anything, it starts to look like a shadow line. Mm. So it doesn't have to perfectly go all the way down to the base or all the way up to the edge. I'll give you the bone white, but you only need the edge. <laughs> Kevin Bulware says no, they are horrible tippers. Oh, that's that's sad to know. Well, now mind. I'm going to change my mind about uh, giving a manicure pedicure to a, ho- a hook a mm. I'm just going to growl for the second word. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. The captions won't know what to do, but we'll <laughs> feel better about ourselves. Hook. <laughs> <laughs> times like that and where i i really do want to look at the captions and be like what is going on what it doesn't pick it, it up i'm looking at it right now in my preview windows like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you know google can only do so much mm-hmm. all right so so i, I got the toesies. toesies yeah i'm almost there myself yep tootsie footsies are done yay, yay. All right, and then you also said on the the hooks. On the, yeah, I took the... my dry brush and I just did a little bit on the tips of the hooks and the spikes. Oh, yeah. Okay. I went around with my dry brush to do that. Yeah. Although I think I might have some fun and, yeah, we're going to take a little bit of what's left on the detail brush mm-hmm. and just float it along the tongue Oh. to highlight the tongue a little bit. You want to make sure your brush isn't very much loaded for this, though, and you're kind of dry brushing with your detail brush by floating it. Ooh. Yeah. Dry brushing with something that's not a dry brush. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah, it's basically that that line right around the edge of the tongue. Yep. Exactly. Mm. Mm. I'm going to do it the same on the beak. Just a little touch. <clears throat> Do do do. There okay, we go. Cool. Yeah. Yay. Yay. All right. And then rinse that. You're going to want to rinse that. Out. And thinking, thinking. You want <laughs> yes, baby, Neon, gray. You've, you've arrived just in time for the Manny Petty. Yeah. I'm sorry, you said Stonewall Gray? Stonewall Gray. Okay. Just a little dot because this is going to um, be going in the eye. Oh, it's eye time. It's eye, eye, eye time. Mm. <coughs> Part of my cough. Is this where I should pull out a toothpick? Or are we if going to If you want to do a toothpick, you can absolutely do a toothpick. Do I want to do a toothpick or do I want to do... Speaking of which... Yeah, I'm going to do the toothbrush. My, my uh, toothbrush. Tooth I'm going to do the, the paint... Yeah, the toothbrush. I'm going to brush this, this big boy's teeth. Uh, I'm going to stick with the paintbrush because my... Um, my fine detail has a pretty nice point on it at the go. moment, so I'm feeling right. pretty confident. I don't have my toothpick nearby, but I do have this nice little... It's supposed to be a hair pick, but I'm sorry, this can do damage, so I actually don't use it for a hair pick. But it's tantamount to the tip of a toothpick. Mm-hmm. So I will show what you can always do is... Nope, I want the gray. You basically would load the tip of your toothpick with just a touch of the paint. So there's a nice little bead. And then you go to your mini, and you poke, 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 poke. Just dot the eye. Literally dot the eye. Yeah. I'm doing the same thing just with my detail brush. 
poke, 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 poke. Gentle, gentle, poke, 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 poke. Yep. And you let that bead of paint work for you. I'm actually not pressing the tip of this thing, <laughs> this metal thing against the miniature. I'm letting the paint work for me. That little dot actually does help. A little bead, I should say. The venerable bead. Yeah, the hard part about this is making myself stop at the right point because I want to just keep poking. Mm -hmm. But if I can make myself stop poking at the right point, then I still get a nice, a nice eye. And you know what? I'm saying that and I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop and look at the chat and be like, hi, chat. How you doing? Are you enjoying the painting? <laughs> Ronan290 says, ouch, I got stonewall gray in my eye. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so you can see those two eyes have been dolched. And T's are crossed. They have been. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So this we'll do this that. is where my camera is not going to show up this detail, but I will mm -hmm. take pictures later. This is true. This is absolutely true. Oh, let's see. Kevin Bulware looks like asking about the speed paints. Contrast oh, yes, paints. speed paints. Now, for the regulars, you've heard me with this spiel before. Um, but I am happy to answer it again because they are a paint that's out there that a lot of people do want to know about. So what are contrast slash speed paints? They are basically paints that sort of combine um, what happens with dry brushing and washing pull together. So what you do is you put a base color onto your miniature and then you go to your speed paint and you paint over that and it gives you a little bit more details. They are fantastic and I have not used them personally, but I know a lot of other mini painters personally who have. Um, who do like them. Uh, there are a couple different brands now who have contrast paints, speed paints out there. Uh, they're great for when you're doing sort of assembly line armies, a whole bunch mm. of skeletons at once, a whole bunch of kobolds or goblins. They're fantastic for that. If you enjoy the process of miniature painting, like what we're doing here, that's kind of where I would suggest with sticking with your traditional paints so you can do your different techniques. But if you want to just get a whole bunch done at once, then yeah, go for it. Do it. Do it up. Have fun with them or treat it where you do your base color, put the speed paints on, and then you can go back in and do some more detail work. That's another great way to use them. That's how we get Henry Cavill on the show, is we're gonna not just do the two skelly, skelly day, we're gonna do the 20 skelly day, and we're gonna speed paint all of them with Henry Cavill. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, what's okay. next? Next, we're gonna go to that polished gold. And we're gonna put that over what we just did on the eyeball, just to kind of give him this fun little glinty look to the eye. Ooh. Uh, oh, that question led into the color changing paints. Yes, I absolutely have used the color changing paints. I love them. They are fantastic. They are fantastic. They're they're great for things like magical effects, uh, mystical creatures, even for some armor depending on the color blend you have, because there are some that shift from gold to silver, gold to silver, and that looks really cool on um, like paladin armor or um, other like really cool, like epic style PCs or NPC style type minis. Um, but no, they're they're really a lot of fun. Um, actually, hold on, I have a mini right here and I'll show you some wings. So these wings Ooh. have color shift on them and it goes from a yellow to like a silvery color oh, shift yeah. yeah it doesn't show up well on webcams which is interesting i have found that it, it really doesn't do it justice but, um, but i can see it a little bit there's a yellow point it, right there and then yeah. it goes silver to yellow to silver so they are really cool to use i like yeah them. The, the fact that it's even showing up at all i mean first mm -hmm. off you've got a really good camera but also yeah. the fact that it's showing up at all means it definitely is going to show up a lot more yeah in person. Okay, we're doing gold on the eyes. Yes, so we're gonna take that gold and we're going to go back over and just actually, my dollop is too big. I'm gonna tell my dot is too big. So I'm gonna pull some of that and resituate myself. And I always forget until I start putting this gold on that it is way more translucent than I think. Mm -hmm. And that gives you a fun glint to the eye. And the reason why I put the stonewall gray on first is because that eye socket has been muddied by a bunch of different colors and the stonewall gray just sort of acts as a reset color. If you go to put the straight gold on, it wouldn't quite have as much of a impact because it'd be modeled by the colors floating around underneath it. I might have 
I might have done a little bit too much on that side. Ah. Uh, poopy. Ah, oh, but I'm happy with that side. All right. So so one eye is a little more gold than the other. That'll happen. <laughs> when I uh, put on a little more eyeshadow this morning. Mm hmm Actually, one eye is bigger than the other. Yeah, but socks. I got outside of the socket with it. Oh, I think, okay. I think I might have just uh, poked in the wrong place. And I tried to clean it up. And you know how you try to clean up glitter and glitter starts to go everywhere? And you're like, All well, no, I should just stop. I should just stop now. Yeah. <laughs> but you keep doing it. <laughs> yeah. I just want to poke it just, just a little more. Just, just, mm -hmm. just a tiny touch It's like, I just want to get rid of that that one that's on the, the beak. Mm -hmm. No, no. You no. know what? It's there forever. <laughs> and it said no. All right. Okay, so mm. our claws should be done by now, the bone white. So yeah. now we're going to go to the dead white, and we're going to do just a little, like, add a gleam to the claw. So you're going to go back to your detail brush, and you're just going to do a little line at the top curvature of each claw. See what I mean? I love how my paper plate has gone from, <clears> like, <throat> pardon me, this, this giant batch of icky and then everything has just gotten smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and then i've just got like tiny little right? you can't even see it little just tiny dots. little dots because i know i'm just using like a tiny little amount mm -hmm. so basically what i'm talking about is to go from the top of the claw and bring it down and it's just one thin line you're not putting it all over the claw it's just adding a little highlight mark okay to the top of the claws as if there was lighting going on mm-hmm A little touch. It doesn't show up as well right now because the lighter colors love to flash back with the lighting. But it's literally yeah, just a nice... Yeah, these are the details that I know are not going to show up on my camera hardly yeah. at all. And I'm yeah. like, I have to keep reminding myself I can see it. And yeah. when I... The, the camera on my phone is not amazing, but can take pretty good pictures. And if I get sun... I can get some really good yeah. detail, which is why so often when you see pictures of my minis, they're like on my windowsill because I'm taking advantage of like the three minutes of sunlight that we get in, in Seattle. But it's like, true. Pictures I mean, over there. Sunlight is like honestly the best light for your mini pictures. Yeah. There we go. It's why I use, I tend to share my miniatures on a Saturday morning as mm. opposed to because by the time I'm done, although that's changing. I do have a little bit of light left, so I might be able to get yeah. something tonight. Yeah, because it's later for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, even in the dead of winter, it's still, you know, one thirty for me. So yeah. even on the worst days here in Seattle, which one thirty would still look like 6 o'clock at night and be gray and dull, there still is usually yeah. enough sun That's it's still better than even with, like, <laughs> my nice lighting here. Yep. Yeah, this is very hello from the future for me. Hello from the future. Uh, Zodlander says, uh, the Witcher Superman paint marathon. I'm totally hooked for that. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a, I, I think this is a lot of people have seen this specific interview segment. I don't even know what it was from, but it's Henry Cavill with a whole bunch of his Witcher castmates. And he's basically geeking out about mini painting and his castmates <laughs> yep. are like yeah he's been talking about mini painting and he's really kind of enthusiastic and then he starts talking about it and then they start to actually you know now that you talk about it it actually kind of sounds pretty fun <laughs> and he's geeking out even more at the idea of finally getting his castmates into mini painting <laughs> i can't relate adorable. to that at all no, no not at all no I remember when I talked to you about this show and I wasn't even through with a sentence when you're like, yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yep. I'm glad that you want to spend two hours teaching me how to paint minis in front of an audience every week. Mm -hmm. Oh, Connor the Shadow says, has there ever been a miniature you were working on and thought it was more work than you first thought it was going to be? Yeah, more work than I first thought it was going to be. Where did it go? Hmm. Where'd it go? Did I lose it? I'm I'm thinking through the ones that we've done, but I I think I'm at a point in my 
Um, oh, I may have, because sl- obviously with painting all these minis, like I stack them up behind me and then I put them away. Yeah. And kind of rotate them. Um, oh, I did put it away. Uh, but I have the, here, I have the unpainted version of it because I want to do another round of it. This one, it's a blue dragon. Um, so this, is that so, the, it's, is it- the one from Pathfinder from West Kid? I was about to say. Yeah. Because I actually thought that was the Sapphire Dragon for a no, moment because of the, the no, head. It, but it's a gorgeous sculpt. And I'm like, oh, Blue Dragon. Totally simple. That sucker in its final form, it took me a good 20 hours. Which for mm. many that size, for me, that's actually a lot of work. But it has so many cool details and there's so many different scale shapes on it. And then I was trying to bring out the different shapes of scales, et cetera, et cetera. And then I started blending washes and everything because it's how I do. Uh, so that one took a lot of time. I just don't have the end result one nearby, but I think it might be on my Instagram. Ooh. Like yeah, go back check a that couple out. years. I think it's on my Instagram account, the final result. I actually have the opposite because I've, you know, I, I don't have an idea really of how long any minis are supposed to take. And so none of these feel like they've taken too long right. because I, I just assume everything's going to take a long time. Uh, so the opposite for me have been uh, the skeleton speed paint. Mm hmm. And there was something else we did in one day. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was, but the stuff that we did in one day in like two hours and we were done. Mm-hmm. I'm like, holy mackerel. Yeah. How do we do all of that? So it's a thing. It's really a thing. Yeah. Um, okay. So we are getting to the point. I'm honestly vamping to make sure this dries enough because I want to do the wash. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do um, the Agrax Earthshade, but we're going to water this down a little bit. Because I don't want this full throttle wash and um, going darker, or as dark, I should say. So what I will do is actually pull some of my Agrax onto my palette and then add clean water to it and then start Ah. dry brushing it onto the mini. And just be careful with your pots when you get these. It does help to have these fun little holder things, which I need to get one of these over your way, Lauren. Oh, yeah. Um, Yeah, especially after what happened the last time. Yes. That was that was definitely a series of unfortunate events. It, actually, it was just one very unfortunate event. This is true. It was an unfortunate <laughs> event. It was the most unfortunate event. It could have been a lot worse. I will true. say that. For those of you who missed it, uh, I used to have a null oil. Operative word used to. <laughs> I used to have a null oil, um, but, but yeah, that happened. Okay, so but you're oopsie. watering. I'm watering this it down. down. Yeah. So I did like three brushfuls of the wash. And I'm going in with two brushfuls of just clean water. Oh. Okay. I just want to thin this out a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to go in. And this is how used to dry brushing I am. I was about to dry brush my wrist. Yeah. No. Start at the head and work my way down. And we're doing the whole mini, right? Whole mini. The whole shebang. Here we go. My favorite part, the washing. The washing. The washing of the mini. Yes. And we're going to oh. do this on the body. Let me clarify that. The body. Not the whole okay. mini. Avoid the base. We're going to do the body. Okay. The, the actual creature. Yes. Not the base. Correct. And I will say, since we are at 1.30, uh, mm-hmm. we still have about 20 minutes before it is time for the wonderful Garwar's Guide to Everything. Uh, so if you have any other questions, either about Idol Champions or about painting uh, or anything else, go ahead and put those in chat. And the awesome Martin. Martin. I, I, I was trying to say the awesome moderator Martin. And the... It just m M&M'd. and it just went into one one whole thing. Uh, yeah. Martin will be grabbing those and putting those uh, in a place in where they won't get lost in the chat. Uh, because right now I am enjoying doing my washing. That's fair. And yeah, um, here we go, washing the abs. Yeah. J Dog <laughs> wants to know how many hours do you spend each week painting minis? Well, J Dog. Quite frankly, lately it is these hours. <laughs> And we're glad to have you. Exactly. Um, it depends, like when I have free time or there's a mini I really want to do. Maybe about 10 hours a week. I can find time to devote to it. Yeah. 
And is that is that you find a mini and you're going to spend a, a chunk of time on yeah. it? Or yeah. okay. And out of curiosity, mm -hmm. when you talk about a mini, you are excited about that, so that you're going to find time to paint. Yes. What is it at this point about a mini that makes you that excited? Uh, the texture and the character. I've actually started jumping into doing um, the bust style miniatures. So much oh, yeah. I remember there's, there's one yeah. uh, that you're on your Giuseppe. Twitter that you'd shown. Yes. Yeah. My fur bold Giuseppe. Um, I've enjoyed those greatly because I've, I'm getting a chance to sort of pull out more of a personality because obviously with the smaller miniatures, it's not as easy to paint the faces up so you can kind of get expressions going. So I've been enjoying doing the bust miniatures because when it gets to the face, I can actually work on sort of giving them their own expressions with hmm. paint. So that I've really been enjoying. So those I've gotten excited about for sure. Nice. And has that changed over the years? Like, is there times in where you're all about dragons? Oh, yeah. And other times? Absolutely. Oh, cool. Yeah. There have been times where I'm like, wings! <laughs> give me the wings. Give me, give me all them wings. Yeah. When, when your miniature Red Bulls you. <laughs> why, why, why are butts always the hardest to paint? I know. It's not wrong, all, though. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is wash it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's so hard. It's so hard. But you can oh, see yeah. by thinning out the wash, it isn't doing as intense mm. of a color change, so to speak, or a muting of the colors, but you're still getting some of the details brought out a little bit more. Which is especially nice for me in the in the shell because mm -hmm. it's yeah. so good. And and the abs. But yeah. I mean I mean when you've got a 13 pack <laughs> Like this big boy has. Yeah. It's hard not to, to show off those abs. Show me your herbs. Mm. I mean, the good thing about the washing is trying to get into these nooks and crannies that are usually really hard to get into when you're painting. Mm -hmm. But because you're getting the wash everywhere, it's just like, la, 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 poke, yep. poke, 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 la, yep. la, la. Like getting under these arms. Uh, oh, it's tricky, yeah. Poke, 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 poke. Uh, let me check because I did uh, ask for more questions. Uh, oh, Kraken UK, only a week into Idol Champions. Hey, welcome. Hi. Ha I have Birdsong, Vlanya, and Sasaspia. Before the time gate, all three I already have double slots for, so not sure which one to choose. Um, so I already have double slots for, so not. It kind of depends on what you're looking for in another champion. Um, is it that you have, okay, so Birdsong, Vlani, and Sasaspia. So Birdsong is a really, really good DPS, uh, incredibly fast. I have been relying on Birdsong a lot because I like to put all the Heroes of the Plains into one formation. None of the Heroes of the Plains are DPS. And so I need someone else to be a DPS for me. And Birdsong happens to be in a perfect slot that doesn't have a Hero of the Plain in it and is just an awesome DPS. So if you're looking for another DPS, Birdsong. Also Tabaxi, which is awesome. Uh, Vlani and Sasaspia are both excellent buffers. Um, I'd probably go for Vlanya over Sasaspia just because of pairing up with Ariza, because mm -hmm. that's a fun pairing. Um, but once again, no wrong answer there. Also, welcome. Glad that yeah. you joined us on our mini painting show for Idol Champions. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. So I think I, think I got this all done as far Fantastic. as whoosh whoosh and then what we're going to do for the base is a black wash so in your case you're going to take your black paint lauren and create that yep. nice thin basically a black broth i'm going to jump into my nolan oil from citadel yeah you know and this one oil. i'm not gonna thin that gnome oil that i used to have oops <laughs> <laughs> sadness sadness and despair especially since that that for reasons that are nobody's fault mm -hmm. the null oil was the hardest one for me to get <laughs> probably it's just, the most popular too that probably was why it just yeah. it took the longest to get and was like the last one that i ordered and you know yeah it's it's not a big deal but it was just it was irony at its height 
All right, and this is all over the base. Mm -hmm. Yay, washing the beach. All about that base. Mm. And are you thinking about um, putting any any other things on top of this, like some of the the, bits the grass of plants, tests? or are we kind of keeping it? Well, because I mean, they're normally like cave dwellers, so I was kind of thinking not as much. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. It was my only rationale behind me, like, yeah, I'll skip it. We also did a lot of extra work on this base, so might as well show it off. Yeah. I mean, how often are we um, going in and dry brushing twice dry on the base? Yes. And once again, uh, the wash is saving me as, as I talked about how I did a little too much white mm -hmm. when we were dry brushing in, in a couple of places. Yeah. And bless, bless dry brushing. It's already looking a lot better. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure it's not pooling up around the, the claws. Yeah. Well, if it does a little bit, it'll help and kind of play shadow games for you. <laughs> play shadow games. Win shadow prizes. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, uh, see, there we go. Dum. I think, I think we're coming close to a yeah, done. We are, we are very much getting close to a dunsies. Uh, Zodlander wants to know, is idol champion minis coming? I really want Deacon and <coughs> Arios minis. Um, probably not from us. Uh, probably not idol champions minis. Mostly because we're a digital games company and uh, physical product is really hard is super super yeah. hard yeah. now uh so probably not from us now deacon is a character from the uh a bunch of the forgotten realms novels and games and so i don't know but it wouldn't surprise me if one of the um companies that has the D, &D license that make minis like WizKids, mm -hmm. put out a deacon mini um and as for the heroes of Eros, Eros, that would be a question for the wonderful people at High Rollers, who I know have done little tiny yeah. bits of merch. But many is once again like merchandise. They can be tricky. Be for, yeah, be forgiving of people, especially like if you see Kickstarters with that have merchandise add-ons, or yeah. you know, if companies, uh, you know, if individual people are like, and we're gonna make a shirt, like that's actually really hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um the other thing is like if you're really looking for miniatures of your favorite characters and everything like that there is a fantastic um 3d printer community and designers of people who will make different designs and you can get the files and you can do that many offer them for free uh my friend miguel mz4250 <laughs> he has gone through all of the D, D books and he has created various monsters various npcs so if you want to check him out on um what's the mythjigger thingiverse Check him out on Thingiverse, or you can find him on uh, social media. That's another good resource if you're looking for additional Dungeons & Dragons miniatures, um, and they're based on the open source licensing stuff. So you can check him out in his work Yeah. Uh, for some additional ones. That may not, if, you know, if for some reason you can't find them, like with WizKids or other brands, so to speak. Oh, I put this way too close to my nose way too fast. Okay. You just, mm. just inhale the paint. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That was a little too close to my nose oh, no. before it had dried quite enough. I'm like, oh, mm, okay. Spicy. <laughs> Oof, that was a smell. Spicy. <laughs> I uh, usually don't smell any of it. I just, I think it was just too close at the wrong time, mm -hmm. but it's looking real good. Yeah, and you can see as it's drying uh, and the glare dies down, you can see how the details are popping out more with the washes, but you still have your highlighting happening as yeah, we thinned out that wash. Hello, Cypher. I oh, just hello. looked over the chat and I saw the oh hi. Good to you see know, you. Mm -hmm. Since since Cypher of Tear is here in chat, yeah. I know that she put out on her Twitter some uh, an awesome stream that is happening on April fifth. <sighs> I don't remember the time offhand, but it is an awesome charity stream that you should definitely go check out. Yes. Um, and if if Martin, if you want to uh, put a link to that in chat, because uh, hey, I I have it on good authority go. that some of the incentives to help with some of those donations might include some idle champion stuff. So you should definitely go check that out. Definitely. Meanwhile, you've joined us right at the end of the hook I, yep. horror. <laughs> horror horror horror. <laughs> 
hooker. Starting at 12 yes. Central. So it's totally <clears throat> 10 Pacific. Yep. I, I've done the math. Mm. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yes. The hook. The hook horror, horror yeah. is essentially done. It just needs to dry. And then I will super glue it onto its little black disc. Like, you know, every person should have a little black dress if they like to wear their dresses. Uh, every mini will come with its little black disc. And when you want to attach mini to disc, get yourself some super glue, liquid form, not gel, darlings, liquid. And that will give you a nice bond to this disc here. Uh, why liquid and not gel? Because the gel, as great as it is for drying faster and seeming like it has attached beautifully, it actually is more of a brittle connection. I have used it in the past and the minis where I have used it in the past are now falling off their bases or because oh. there were some that were sprue based, they fell apart. Um, oh. So I really don't recommend using anything but liquid style super glues on your miniatures um, just because the gel funky things start happening with it. And I've also noticed discoloration with the oh. gel style as opposed to the super glue liquid huh. style. Yeah. It just reacts to something in the paint. Something's or the... different about it. And it's just, it's not bonding as strongly and mm. it gets compromised or compromises the pigments, pigments in the paint. So mm. that is why I'll make a point to point out, don't, don't do it. So yeah, this, this, um, Kevin Bacon and crochet, they just need to dry and then they'll be ready for their, uh, close-ups. And once ready that the is the debut. case, yeah, that's the case. I will get pictures for you. And don't forget, next week we have yeah. Masood joining Yay! us. <laughs> I am so excited so for this. So Masood is going to join us, and we're going to do an ice spider for Gosric. Nope, that's the. Where are and we're going to use spider? this mini from oh, again. God, this I is another Whiz Kids. She's looking for the spider. Yeah, I found it. Spider. <laughs> so we're going to do it. the egg clutch and the spider itself, but we're going to give it a little twist and make it look like a nice little ice spider. And uh, we'll have some fun with getting this one going. And yeah. if you want to join us, uh, get yourself a, the spider miniature. Or if you have another spider miniature of a different design at home, go for it. Uh, but you will need black, white, and primary blue. If we're talking game color line colors, black, dead white, and ultramarine blue. And Those a couple brushes. And, and a couple we'll... brushes. Yep. A couple brushes. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. It's going to be a one paint. A one session paint. And uh, we'll have some ice spiders and we'll put up a, a little bit of a content warning for those who are squeamish mm -hmm. around spiders because it's going to be all spiders are, all the time. Yeah, these, it's there's not going to be anything else we're going to be doing. So, no. uh, but they're no. going to be super fun. Oh, and we're going to have Masood and I'm so excited mm -hmm. because it is. Yeah. He will be our second guest. Yes. We this don't often get to have guests, so I'm excited. I am too. This is this is a fun little like, yay. Um, and again, yesterday announced we have Gosrick coming on Wednesday for Greengrass. Mm -hmm. I you know, this is this is gonna be fun. And add into your rivals grouping, and oh, you'll get the honey and Felice and Shaka and Gosrick and oh Yep. That's one of the reasons why when a bunch of you are asking, oh, who should I have? Who should I pick in my free time gate if, if a rival or water If a rival's available, up, definitely yeah, scoop them up. That's absolutely. for sure this weekend. Do it. And then you can have even Collect more fun. Collect the whole set. Yes. Pokemon them. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yep. And I think that's I think. it. Oh, I should also mention um, on Monday, uh, Familiar Quest is, this they, is they were back last week, but oh. the next episode is this week, the second half mm -hmm. of, I guess, season one. Um, yes, after second Idol Champions one. present. Yeah. Yep. Um, they will be back and um, two of, or one of them is now available as a familiar. You can get Pest as a familiar in the game. And on Monday, you can get Squiddle. So, yeah, they're slowly can't, coming to the game. I can't handle the cuteness of these dark, wonderful creatures. <laughs> Absolutely. They're and I fantastic. think that's it. And we should uh, make some make some room for Gar Wars Guide to Everything. Definitely. We'll be answering lots and lots of questions about the show. Perfect. All right. Well, take care, everyone. <laughs>